Hello everyone, welcome back. So you can see I'm playing Mortal Kombat 11 again, and today I'm going to be showing off Fujin, which is, why is this here? <laughs> I just, I've had the game on for like 10 minutes and it didn't do that, but anyway, Fujin is, uh, Raiden's brother. It's very cool. Or Raiden, actually. Got caught in one of those Ryu, Ryu things there just now. But anyway, here he is. He's actually very fun, and hopefully, okay, good. Because <laughs> the last time I was on this, it said custom. I guess what I did wrong, which I didn't realize at the time, is that I just hit back instead of hitting save. Which, hitting save is hitting A, so I thought that meant to select it. But it was like I already had it selected, so I didn't think to do it again. But yeah, him, obviously, I'll just put against Raiden. Makes uh, the most sense. But yeah, he's very, he's very cool. He has a lot of mechanics that you can throw off. He has the air waka, where you can go walk through the air, as it sounds. And I don't know where to put these guys, actually. You know what? I think they have a stage around here. That's very much them. I'm actually thinking of Mortal Kombat X. I'll just do the Shirai Ryu Fire Garden. Yeah, he has a lot of nice complexity to him. He's definitely not a character... I mean, you could pick him up and just play him normally. But if you want to pull off the crazy combos, you have to be pretty damn good. There's a lot of special move canceling and alternating between the special moves. It's definitely a lot to keep in mind when you're playing as this guy. It's not just a straightforward punch and kick character. I mean, technically every character can be played that way, <laughs> but not if you want to master them. You bastard. Yeah, I actually like the story in this one. Oh, nope. I was trying to airwalk a... No! There we go. Yeah, yeah. I've actually I've been playing the arcade one-up version more recently, so I need to get back into the gameplay style. Oh, nope, nope. Haha! -ha. Shot him in the face with a crossbow. Oh, got you with the punish. I'm gonna hit him with an air walker kick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This one, if you just let it go, and we stop kicking my oh, smashed him like a pancake. But if you just let it go, you'll just run across the whole stage, which is very funny. But if you press the kick button, you'll actually drop down and kick, which you can do pretty much right off the bat. Like, I'll show you here. Bam! You just immediately kick him right in the head. Or you can space that out. Like, if you want to run across the stage first, then you can do that, and then run up and kick him in the head. But either way, the result's the same. And I'm also using an arcade stick for this, as you can probably tell by hearing it. Yeah! <laughs> Punch you in the mouth. Yeah, he has a lot of nice little flourishes to him. He's definitely one of my favorite of the DLC fighters. Actually, all three of the new ones are really good. You have Robocop, Fujin, and Shiva. And all of them are really nice. They're very different gameplay styles. So, nice variety to the game. Yeah. I think my favorite so far, as far as DLC goes, is Spawn. I don't know if anyone's going to top that quite yet. There's also a way, I forgot which one's the dagger input. Oh, definitely not that, but that's a good one too. You know, I might not have the dagger on this one. Let me check real quick. Yeah! Let's see. Crossbow Blast, Tornado, Warp Needle. Warp Needle, that's the one. Okay. So that'll be this. Come on. There it is. Okay. So you can actually do this, where when you pull them with the air, you can special move cancel into the Warp Needle, which I'll show you here in a second. If I can catch him with it. Here. Yeah! Ah, he blocked it. One more try. One more try. There we go. Okay, he blocked the first one, but you get the idea. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to third round anyway. I'll just show it more. But yeah, I'm sure you can cancel more moves into that, but that's the only one that I can really pull off with any kind of... Ah. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Oh, nope. All right, wait, let me try that again. Yeah, you have to do it like... They all have very specific timing. If you go into the practice mode, you can see it better in there. Oh, nope. Come on. Nope. Get away. Yeah, you can also push them with that, too. I think that one you can also cancel into. But I'm actually... Trying to pull those off has made me lose dramatically. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I think canonically that's how that fight would end anyway, so... I'm okay with that. That was just disrespectful. <laughs> you could have hit me at any point. All right, the gloves are off on the next fight. <laughs> Do Cloudwalker again. Let's see, who should I put him up against? Who makes the most sense? You know what, Cetrion's a good one. One of the few gods in the game. 
do this one. Heavenly Scent. You know, I'm gonna put them in the Soul Chamber. I don't think I've done this one yet. Yeah, it's been a while since my last Mortal Kombat recording. Yeah, I'm gonna try this one, because I usually just record at 720, since YouTube compresses it anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much. But it does show a little more fidelity if you do 1080p. So I think I'm just gonna start alternating. Because originally I was doing 720, and then I went up to... Actually, I think I was starting at 1080i. Which, if you don't know, 1080i is different than 1080p, even though they sound very similar. 1080i looks kind of terrible. <laughs> it actually, it looks worse than 720p for some reason, where it'll have, like, lines in it. And it just looks, it's just a mess. Like, the frame rate's very off. <laughs> but yeah, I went from that to 720p, and I noticed my videos look a lot better. And then I went from that to 1080p, and they looked even better from there. But the only problem is, as anyone would know, that 720p and 1080p are very different file sizes if you do any kind of recording. So recording that would probably be like 0.5 gigabytes. If you do it in 1080p, it'll be 1.5 gigabytes. So it's a full three times bigger on the file size. It's not an exact three times bigger, but it pretty much is. <laughs> Anytime I do a video like that, it'll be like, oh, this one's 0.60 gigabytes. And then you do a same length video in 1080p, and it's like, oh, this one is 1.8 gigabytes. It's just like, Jesus. I mean, I have external hard drives, but I'd rather not buy that many. So I do like to keep the raw footage in case I ever want to use it again. Like if I'm ever doing a top 10, I can just recycle that. But sometimes I will record new footage, like if I want to show off something specific for a video. But for the most part, it's unnecessary. Yep. Oh, nope. Yeah, fatal blow. I'm not going to lose twice in a row. Yeah, but anyway, what I was saying is I'm basically just going to alternate. Like, a game like this, I'm just going to do it 1080p, just so it's a little bit more high fidelity. But any kind of... Oh my god, she killed me. <laughs> well, I do want to show off the fatality, so I'm just going to cut to that after this. Because I just got massacred there. See, the disrespect again. But yeah, I'm just going to go back and forth. Games like this, I'm going to do 1080p, and then any kind of low, like, visual game. Like Pokemon Shield or something, I'll just do that at 720. So it doesn't really matter. Oh, coming in for the kill. I'm gonna finish off with a crossbow bolt. Biah! <laughs> right in the head. Alright, let's see what his fatality is. I don't play as him that much. Alright, so back, down, down, back, Y. Alright. Yeah, see, I still don't understand how I'm not doing the stage fatalities, but whatever. <laughs> not gonna go back into that debate again. So even the more complicated fatalities I can do first try. But yeah, the stage fatality when it's literally down three times and why. I just can't pull it off. Makes no sense. And I do it on stages that I know have stage fatalities. So yeah, just don't understand it. I'm not going to try anymore. No, not retry. No. Alright, so that is it for Fujin. I know up next I have the Eternal Clash Pack. But after that, I don't think there's really much else. I know there's, I think, two or three more skin packs coming, so I'll probably come back for that, but until then, there's really no content to show off. So after that, I think I'll just be doing, just showing off some of the Isle of Armor for Pokemon Sword and Shield, which, story-wise, incredibly short, but there is a decent amount of content there, so I'll show some of that off. But anyway, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video.